having had a 996 Turbo, 997 Turbo, and a 997 Turbo S, didn't really have any concerns about the flash, more of, you know, will the Panamera Turbo perform how those other cars did. The car stock before the ECU flash, you know, it, it has a little bit lag to how the turbos come on. Um, if you're driving it in standard mode, you really want it to feel a little bit more like it does in sport, so it's a little more sensitive, you get that extra kick sooner. And that's one of the big downfalls, I think, of, of any of the, the turbocharged cars uh, from Porsche. And once they're tuned, you feel that performance and power come on a lot quicker. Whenever you tune a turbocharged car, the increases are, are pretty large. And as expected, with the Panamera Turbo, we had some pretty good gains. We achieved about 80 wheel horsepower over stock. It already takes a super fast uh, turbocharged sedan um, to a whole nother level. I mean, we're talking about 600 crank horsepower, uh, which is no joke. And anywhere from about 4,000 RPM and up is the largest of the gains. The lower end RPMs have a better throttle response, torque comes on quicker, uh, reduced turbo lag. So overall, driving the car is, is much more enjoyable. Flashing process for the uh, Porsche Panamera requires the ECU to be removed from the vehicle. It's not a huge challenge to do. Um, it's actually conveniently located right uh, underneath the hood against the firewall where the um, uh, passenger side uh, plastic trim is. So it takes about 10 minutes to get out. Um, once the ECU is out, it gets mailed in and the ECU is flashed on the bench. One thing we decided to try with our Mustang Dyno is the quarter mile test feature where you basically is run a quarter mile test from stop. And it actually ran 11.64 at 124 miles per hour on the dyno. So it kind of gives you a, um, a notion of you know, how, how the car would do on actual um, real drag strip. Overall though, you know, the car's performance with that huge gain in the mid-range RPM is definitely impressive.